people welcome to my channel i'm here with a very very important video i think this is the most requested video which i'm making today since the time syllabus has changed for ugc net english literature a lot of students have been demanding me to make a video on cultural studies i don't know what made you guys think that cultural studies is some big monster which you can't tackle alone you need somebody to help you out i'm telling you that by the end of this video i'm going to clear the concepts of cultural studies in such a manner that this will become one of the most simplest section of english literature so before any further delay let's jump right into the topic but before that i would like to tell you that i have a full detailed module on cultural studies which is available on my website cultural studies in this video would be looked at as a crash course where i am going to tell you only the major aspects if you want to actually study cultural studies from the point of view of ugc net english literature it's better that you go to my website arpitakarva.com and check out the detailed course on cultural studies which also includes other important sections which we have not covered in this particular uh, video at the same time if you've not yet subscribed to my youtube channel i think you should do that and i'm pretty sure that you must have watched my videos on english in india which was another new topic that was added in the syllabus i have discussed that topic in detail in four videos so there's a video series on english in india containing four videos in which i have detailed explanation of all the aspects of english in india so if you have not watched that make sure just after this video you are going to watch it because last time two questions were asked directly from those videos so i'm pretty sure that this time as well you can get the benefit and you can get those extra marks if you can watch the video so let's begin with understanding what is cultural studies so a lot of people think that cultural studies is about understanding the popular culture for example during my parents age when they were young they said that uh, mills and boons were in trend people were reading when i was a kid harry potter was in trend or maybe if we look at today uh, then all these mythological writers they are in trend some self help writers are in trend so is it cultural studies is it looking at the contemporary culture even in 21st century i think live in relationship is in trend so is cultural studies about looking at how people perceive live in relationship or people perceive dating apps and blind dates and all these things no cultural studies is not about looking at the popular culture cultural studies is a interdisciplinary field which means that it takes ideas from different subjects for example if you look at cultural studies you'll see that it has been inspired from marxism from history from feminism it has also taken things from sociology from anthropology so it's a interdisciplinary field now at the same time if you want me to explain cultural studies in just one line i would say that cultural studies involves looking at how culture is constructed and organized and the ways in which it has evolved over a period of time cultural studies started in the birmingham center which is in uk so there's a birmingham center for cultural studies that was set up in 1968 in uk by one of the may most important literary theorist who is stuart hall so he was the one who started the cultural studies field and later a lot of other people added and gave their own ideas to the same in this video i'm going to talk about two major thinkers which are associated with cultural studies and two major concepts or terms that they have given in this field i'm pretty sure that by understanding these two thinkers you will automatically gain a better understanding of what cultural studies is and you will no longer be frightened by this topic the first important thinker associated with cultural studies is raymond williams raymond williams is famous for coining the term cultural materialism now what is important for you to understand here is that raymond williams has written two famous books which are repeatedly asked in net exam the first one is culture in society and number two is keywords the investigation of culture and society so make sure that you remember these two books because they are repeatedly asked in net exam 
Coming on to what is cultural materialism, the term which is coined by Raymond William, cultural materialism is basically looking or investigating the beliefs and ideas of a particular period through the study of the literary product okay, or the cultural product. So I would give you an example which would clarify this definition of cultural materialism. It is basically saying that you can understand a period in history by looking at the cultural products. Us period mein kya kya literary or artistic works hue hain jab aap unko study karte ho, aap us period ke baare mein bhoat kuch jante ho. For example, if you look at Woodring Heights from the lenses of cultural studies, you will see that Heathcliff is not just a romantic hero. He is actually a major person who can tell you about the societal change that happened when England went through industrialization. He is the one who represents the class conflict. So, Woodring Heights, it's not just a romantic broody novel, it's basically a novel which is showcasing the Victorian mindset, which is showcasing how people during that time were looking at the class structures, how people were looking or suffering from the demerits of industrialization. So, cultural studies will help you to understand the values and beliefs of a literary period by looking at the cultural products that were produced during that period. So if you look at the works of Charles Dickens, Jane Eyre, you will figure out, uh, sorry, Jane Austen, you will figure out that all these great writers, Jane Austen, Charles Dickens, Thomas Hardy, T.S. Eliot, they were actually giving you a true picture of the society of that particular period. And that is what cultural materialism is all about. After looking at Mr. William we are now going to look at another key figure in cultural studies who is Stephen Greenbald. Stephen Greenbald is famously known for coining a term cultural poetics. Now he is also famous for writing two very impressive books. One was is Towards the Poetics of Culture and the other one is Renaissance Self-Fashioning. This man has done a superb work at analyzing the works of Shakespeare and how they represent the mentality and the mindset of the people who were living in the Renaissance England. So let us first understand what is cultural poetics. Cultural poetics, according to Mr. Greenbald, is the idea that no writer is free from the his own interpretation. So everything that a writer is writing is subjective. No writer, be it a historic writer, cannot give you an objective view of the past. No writer can actually accurately tell you what happened in the history because no matter how he writes, he is going to get influence from his personal biases, his personal interpretation, his perspectives. That is the reason why he looks at Shakespearean works like Midsummer's Night's Dream and says that when we look at Midsummer's Night's Dream, it appears that if people during that time were taking a lot of interest in fairies, they believed in magic and that is why Shakespeare has put that down and people appreciated it during that period. But then we really don't know whether that was true or that wasn't true because that was the interpretation of Shakespeare. Maybe he was not interpreting it rightly. So if you look at cultural poetics, we basically trying to say that no book, even if it is a fiction or a non-fiction book written uh, on any historic event can give us the true picture of that event because all of us have our own judgments, our own perspectives and that is reflected in the work that we are writing. There are a lot of other important writers and theorists associated with cultural studies. We have Antonio Gramsci, Louis Althusser, Stuart Hall. We are not able to discuss this in this video since we are running short of time. But then if you want to get detailed lectures and PDF notes and mock tests on these topics and on all the other important topics of UGC Net English Literature, then you just need to go to my website arpitakarva.com and check out the full course syllabus 
that we have designed specifically and exclusively for the students who are preparing for UGC net English literature if you like that course you can join the course by enrolling on our website itself for more details you can also contact on the number given above with that note I would like to take your leave if you have not yet subscribed to the channel I think you should do it like and share this video with all the other net aspirants who are struggling and are confused about what to study in cultural studies you can also comment below if you want me to make further videos on any of these topics or if there is anything that is bothering you we will definitely connect you to the team of best counselors and we are having a free counseling service available exclusively for the students who are a part of arpitakarva.com with that note i take your leave that's it for this video lecture we'll meet very soon in the next video lecture till the time we meet next happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com